Well, Gary Kennedy with Heart is joining us live in our studio today. And he's one of my favorite guests because <laughs> he actually started this awesome nonprofit organization called Heart. And I think it's vital for our area. So for people who aren't familiar with Heart, healing emotions above reason and thoughts, what does that mean? Well, basically what it is is the thought process that you have within your mind uh, of course, we all know it's not always going to be positive. Yeah. There is going to be negative uh, thoughts in your mind. Basically, what we do is we just want to be able to educate people to say, it's okay to realize that you're not okay at 100% all the time, mm -hmm. but what do you do with the negative activity? Do you just let it just linger in your mind, which can be dangerous? So we just basically let people understand, do something positive. Find whatever it is creative in your mind. Uh, if you like to work with wood, you like to work with, with your hands, whatever. Yeah. Men love to cook, so get up and go do whatever you enjoy doing. And you're able to offer these services through Heart to yes. veterans and people who may be struggling with PTSD. Yes. How important is it for people to wow. be aware of these feelings? Well, it's very important because the thing about it is, is we, we all have an issue and we've, we've seen it, the, the 22 kill, the 22 veterans that commit suicide a day. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not just the veterans, first responders as well as um, just any, any career uh, that you may have, yeah. your mind just wanders and you want to be able to get control of your mind and when we never will, but we can get control of our thoughts. Right, and so. I'm a civilian, so I my everyday life looks very different than the lives of yeah. people who may be firefighters or police officers. Mm -hmm. um, but what are some signs that loved ones can look for? Uh, what love can ones can look for is, is start asking some questions to them. Did you have a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. um, and what I, I was putting on my Facebook this morning is do a self check. We get up in the morning, we look in the mirror to get ready, right. put on the makeup or fix our hair, uh, what little we do have. But <laughs> be able to do a self check to, to look at ourselves to say, do I, do I look okay? Uh, because we're the only ones that's going to know how we feel by our expressions. And doing mm -hmm. a self-check, uh, it, it's, it's just that self, self-evaluation to realize what it is that is bothering us. Mm -hmm. um, and, and knowing that we can go out that, in that day to be able to say, I feel good. Or right. I don't feel good. What do I need to do? That's very important to be self-aware and a lot of people, I think, do struggle with trying to, you know, cover up their emotions, yep. what they really feel on the inside because, of course, you know, if we're in a professional environment or going outside, we don't want people to worry about us. But if you do keep that bottled up inside, if you really aren't feeling well, how dangerous can that be? Uh, it's very dangerous. And the thing about it is, is our loved ones, our friends that we see, you know, coworkers, each and every day they'll see us. And mm -hmm. the thing that they're going to be able to notice is there's something different. There's something wrong with you. Why do you have a frown on your face when you normally have a smile? Yeah. Uh, why, why, are your, why do you have bags underneath your eyes when you normally don't have that? So mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a good thing to do a self-check on yourself, but also find the others that you normally hang around with each day. You're, you're in, the, uh, in the office and you're having coffee with them. You can see there's something wrong. You're going to be the one that's going to see that. Right. And outside of the kind of the physical ramifications of struggling with PTSD, uh, it is kind of a silent issue. Sometimes you can't see it in a person's expression or yeah. maybe on their face, but what are some other signs or maybe even habits that can come out of PTSD? Well, some of the habits that they look at is, is or individuals may look at is, is being able to understand what is your normal habit? What is your normal day-to-day -day life? And being able to see the habits that you, you produce uh, it, it's really one of those ones that an individual that you deal with and, and you see with on a day-to-day -day basis is the only one that's going to understand that kind of things. You, mm -hmm. can, you can be able to see that they, they look like they, they didn't have a good night's sleep. Right. Uh, being able to understand what it is that they're, they're going through because, like I said, the, the, the everyday happy-go-lucky self, that's not them anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, try to start asking some questions. Is there something I could do to help you out? Because you really don't have to be a professional to be able to help someone out. You have to just be aware. 
Right. Uh, and every Wednesday we do a buddy check. And the buddy check is to be able to call your friends and, and the ones that you, you may not have seen at work or hmm. you may not have seen at church that week. You want to say, hey, you know, I noticed you weren't here. We missed you. The simple things of a smile is the biggest things that people want to see, yeah. that people want to hear to be able to say they do care about me. Very, very true. And yeah. as a veteran yourself, you're fully aware that there are stigmas that surround therapy and especially men who maybe feel the shame of that and feel like they have to be the head of the household. They're taking yeah. care of the family. They don't want to go get help because of maybe how how it looks on the outside, but being yeah. able to talk to you and other people in heart who have actually gone through certain experiences yeah. where you've been in war, you've been a first yeah. responder, so you kind of understand what they're feeling because he felt it, yeah. it's such a powerful thing. It really is, and to be able to, to see it firsthand, because uh, you see the outward appearance of the smile, you see their normal activities, uh, sometimes it is. And yeah. whenever you see someone has a smile and it's an extreme smile, <laughs> you better start watching it. Right, because they and do you have can tell. It's very interesting. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being in our studio. Absolutely. I could talk to you forever about <laughs> this. I think what you're doing is amazing. But well, thank you. we'll have more information on our website after the show. And you do have an event coming up in April yes. that you do need funding for. So if people Absolutely. want to donate to this nonprofit, we'll have the details on how you can help and do that and contribute in your own way. But thank you so much, Gary. Thank you, Clark.